everyone, welcome once again, well, welcome for the first time for me doing something like this, but, um, yeah, kind of a Billy Bob trucking S-Drive ETS thing, I suppose, well, it's a Euro truck thing, so, anyway, hello, everyone, welcome, um, what I've decided to do is something I've never really done before, but I've always thought, oh, I really should do that, because people will find that useful, and that is a kind of video to show you the most common fixes and things that people have problems with just so you have an idea how to fix your problems so right some of the most um well i'm going to cover the ones that i'm aware of that i have seen people ask in forms many a time um so if i forget some i forget some i'm sorry sue me but um yeah it's what i can do in the day so first one the first one number one and i may put annotations or something underneath to say this uh you play ets2 multiplayer ets2 updates ets2 multiplayer is not ready for you to update how do you still play your multiplayer simple answer for that one right go to your steam and go to your truck simulator 2 and right click and go to properties now under properties you'll see it's betas tab or betas tab whatever you pronounce it select that and select this drop down and here you'll see all the open betas that are available as well as something that they do which is they keep all of the old builds available for you to use basically so say uh well we're now currently running at the time of recording this um version version something i'm trying to think uh what version are we running we're running some sort of version i can't remember i can't remember exactly how to figure it out uh but say we want to go back say we are running um i don't know 1.12 I think we're actually at 1.16 yeah that most might be the most similar one 1.16 and you need 1.15 then literally you go here and change it click that which I'm not going to do at the moment um, and what it'll do is then it'll go and download that version of ETS2 so you can keep using the multiplayer nice simple one to get started with okay next up is uh, another issue that I know people seem to have problems with um, they've d installed um, a uh, new mod ie some long lights of jazzy cat or whatever and they go oh not seeing the jobs well there's two ways you can go about doing this oh yeah annotational spital please if I haven't edited this correctly now and I forgot to put that in, I'm gonna look a right twat. But anyway. Uh two of the ways to fix this. One is to go in game and do a double sleep. So find nearest parking lot, tell your drive to sleep. Um as soon as it comes around, sleep again. That sometimes resets the economy. If all else fails, go to your ETS2 uh profile folder. Okay? If you're not sure where to find it, it's in your user directory documents, so your doc, my documents, in your truck simulator too. Then you'll see all this. Well, you might not see as much of this because this is some backups from upgrades and some stuff in here that you won't normally see. But anyway, you want the profiles folder and then you want your profile. Okay, how do you know which one's your profile? Easy way to find out is look at the date modified. You see, this one is modified in 2014. No, thank you. This one has got today's date on it. So this must be my most recent profile that I've accessed. So therefore, that is my profile. See what I'm saying? Anyway, go into that and then go into the config. So here you'll get your lovely, lovely config file. Oh, joy. And what you want to do, you want to find this line here. You, uh, you set G Force Economy Reset Zero. Okay. What you need to do is change that to a one, and save, and then run the game. 
what you'll do is it will reset the economy as the title suggests. Now sometimes once you've gone into your profile and gone into your truck, I think going into your truck if I don't credit is important, once you've done that you may need to come back out again and reset this back to zero. Sometimes it will reset itself, I've heard varying different stories about whether it works or not. But there you go, that's how you do it. Just change that from a zero to a one. Next one. Turn off those goddamn fines. Oh, there's nothing worse than being trolled by AI. Is there really? No, I don't think there is. So, one thing you can do to soften the load of being trolled by the AI is turn off the fine system, or as the game knows it, the police. Now this can be, if I remember correctly, this can be done on two separate levels. This can be done on a per profile level, which is in the same config file as it was before under your profile. Go down and you'll see you set G underscore police. Change that to zero, police and fines are turned off. Now I'm just going to double check because I can't remember if it's available in the global. Um, no, apparently not, so I was wrong. So it can only be done on a pro per profile basis, but that's how you turn it off because there is not a toggle in the menu. So there you go, that's how to turn off the police, which is always good. Next one, which people find, oh, people see people using, and I've used it sometimes, but I don't think you'll actually see me use it in a video yet. Hmm. Interesting. One thing people see you people using and ask a lot of the time is console. How do you get that up? All right. This time you want the default config file that's in the ETS Eurotruck Simulator 2 folder under my documents. Open that up. And then here you're going to need to toggle two settings. So get your find out and search for dev. And again, there we go. So you want you set G underscore developer, okay, and make sure that is set to one. It's not just good enough to do that though, because once you've done that one, you'd also need to do console and set. Do you want you set G underscore console and set that to one? There you go. Once next time we start the game. All you gotta do is press um, the back tick key, which is the key next to your number one key or your top left key on your keyboard, just below escape, usually above tab, next to one. Press that and that will open the console so you can type in various different commands and be all leet and hackery and all that kind of jazz. So that is how to get a console. Next one is uh which one was i going to do next oh yes turn off ai traffic yes you can completely turn off the ai traffic i do not tell lies i only tell the truth so way to do that one if i'm correct this is done on a per profile basis so i've already got the one config file open which should be the profile one and you want to set look for uh, G underscore traffic. Now, so if you type it right, right, it's not in that folder. Obviously, open the wrong one. Okay, there we go. G underscore traffic. Now, this one is the um, some one. Let me just double check to make sure I get the right folder or put it in the right place. Let's open this one. So I know it is the global one. You want? Let's find traffic again. Go G underscore traffic. Change that to zero and start the game and that's it you have turned traffic off which is kind of nice to be honest because being trolled by traffic all the time 
it's not always fun, to be honest. And that brings that one to an end. It's just a short one. Just, uh, I know some of these little issues people find annoying. Um, so I thought it'd be best to show you instead of trying to explain it. So there you go. Until next time, uh, keep on trucking, have fun, and try not to um, kill anyone or the AI, even though AI is annoying. But until next time, see ya.